Hello there. What's going on, everyone? It's been a while, but we are back with another Marvel Crisis Protocol unboxing. We're going to take a look at She-Hulk. Uh, I'll go ahead and unbox her, and we'll look at the sprue, the cards, and see what the miniature looks like when fully built. I will go ahead and put her together as well. Uh, we'll give you my thoughts. Uh, it's, it's been a little while since we've had anything new from Marvel Crisis Protocol. If you are new here to the channel, uh, I want to let you know about our giveaways. We've got a $25 Amazon gift card giveaway going right now. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Um, yes, so uh, this is uh, this is nice. we got a lot of new stuff coming from Marvel Crisis Protocol, the Inhumans. Uh, they've been painting those up. Those guys are going to be coming soon. Plus, we've got X-Force. Uh, it's some, like, wave two of the X-Men stuff. Plus, uh, you know, there's there's more. There's, there's, there's so many more things that they've teased that are coming. Carnage is coming. We've got, like, Luke Cage and Iron Fist are coming. So many more things coming. It's it's pretty wild how, how fast they're cranking out expansions. This one doesn't actually look that difficult to, to put together. It looks like she's got a, a, a back and a torso, the two parts to the head, which is probably one of the smaller pieces, and then just put the legs and the arms on, and then build the base, and her hands are on the, the big thing that she's throwing. So it looks pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at the sprue, and then we will go ahead and uh, look at all the cards and everything that's gonna come here. Um, so we've got our two bases, which are pretty standard. Uh, and we have our sprue here, which is going to have the front and back torso, the arms, the legs, uh, the two parts of the hair. Yeah, her hair is huge, so it's not going to be hard to put her together at all. Everything's going to fit in pretty easily, it seems. Even the uh, the rubble, you know, the heroic standing rock, uh, standing on a rock thing is going to be pretty easy because you've got that part and that part which go together pretty simply. Um, yeah, so fun, fun, fun. Let's go ahead and take a look at these cards. All right, here is her card. Uh, she's also got some cardboard. Uh, nothing really spectacular about this other than the larger five count um, wound tokens, which are pretty cool. Um, all right, I like to use my Kravok tokens, though, because they have a five on the back as well. Uh, she's also going to lead A-Force, which is going to be base almost every female in the game, I think. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so uh, so she's going to be, be a, an A-Force ability. Uh, so she's got 20 health, and she's also not going to flip. Her other side, both sides of this card are the same. So much like uh, the uh, re regular Hulk, she doesn't flip, but she's just got a lot of health. She's going to be a medium movement, uh, and she's size 3, and she costs 6 to field. Uh, she's got 3-4-3 three, three for defense. She's got the, her free attack is the sensational uppercut. That's going to do 7 dice. Wow. Um, she's going to gain power, and then she's going to slow the person after she resolves the attack, even if she didn't hit them. Uh, then for the defense rests, will be her 5 power attack. 9 dice here. 9 Niner, uh, range three, two. Um, if this attack deals damage after the attack is resolved, the target character gains the slow and stun special conditions. If the target character already had the slow special condition, they gain the stagger special condition. Stagger is one of the best ones to get because that denies them a whole action. We've got her leadership ability here, Defenders of Arcadia for affiliation A-Force. Um, when an allied character is damaged by an enemy effect, uh, another allied character may gain a power. A character may not gain more than one power from this leadership ability once per turn. So she is uh, going to be good for heroes that want to have a lot of power. And of course, with abilities like uh, you know the defense rests, it's going to you know cost five, and you want to do that one as much as you can for sure. But uh, you know that's going to consume a lot of power. Um, she's got uh, a couple of active abilities like clear the court. That's her, gonna be her throw, size four or less within two, and throw it medium. Uh, she can use that once per turn. She's got the superior weight training. If she wants to spend three during the next attack made by this character, add dice to the attack roll equal to the size of the target. So that is pretty nice. So the, the, uh, the, the stronger you are, um, or the bigger, you know, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, right? Um, and then she's got legal defense, which is a reactive uh, for two. When an allied character within two of this character is targeted by an attack, this character may use this power. They become the target of the attack regardless of the range and line of sight. 
Uh, she also has the immunity to poison and gamma transfusion. Gamma transfusion here is during the power phase. If this uh, this character gains an additional power after attacking or after an attack targeting this character is resolved. If the character suffered wounds, it may advance short speed towards the attacking character. Additionally, if this character would flip its stat card to the injured side. Instead, it is KO'd. So. Uh, yeah, so, so you hit her, she's going to move towards you. Now, she's the, I think the big thing here is that she's medium speed instead of slow like uh, like our first Hulk was. So she's going to be a lot more mobile uh, and, uh, you know, maybe a lot more easy to field. That was one of the difficulties with Hulk is that he was so slow. Um, so maybe she's uh, going to fit a little bit better. Um, now, we also have some cards with her. So let's see. We've got uh, A-Force Assemble. Um, and, uh, an A-Force character may spend three power to play this card when an allied character is... Defending against an attack uh, this round, add a die to the defense roll for each other allied A-Force character within two of that. Well, that's a really nice one. Um, we've got special delivery here. When an A-Force character with flight begins a move action within two of an allied She-Hulk during its activation, they may spend uh, one power each to play this card before moving the miniature. When the active character ends its movement, place She-Hulk within one. Uh, She-Hulk may immediately perform one of her attacks that has a listed cost of zero. Um, so, isn't I thought there was already a card called Special Delivery that was that wasn't character or faction restricted, but maybe it was slightly different. But yeah, there was already a character that you could use to kind of drop off Hulk. I think it was got moved to the like the the restricted list or something like that. I don't I don't usually pay much attention to the organized play stuff because I like to play more for fun. Um, Agents of Smash, unaffiliated, active. If Hulk and She-Hulk are within two of the same interactive terrain feature size, five or less, they may spend three each to play this card. Choose Hulk or She-Hulk to throw the terrain feature long range. Oh, wow. Wait, hold on a second. They may pay three each. Oh, oh this is so you can throw a size five item. Oh, okay, that's the point of this. All right, so that you, they each have that six power to throw something at size five so you can throw like a really big building um that's that's amazing okay um i mean i don't know if it's amazing but it's it's fun fun it seems very fun and i and, I, and fun goes a, a long way um stalwart determination a force this is a reactive during the power phase any number of allied a force characters may spend spend one to play this card characters that spent Power to play this card cannot be pushed or thrown by enemy effects this round. Very cool. All right, next up, uh, we're going to put this thing together. All right, so I've got her all put together now. Um, so there she is in all her glory. Really dynamic pose. I love this. I love the way the hair is flowing. Uh, I love the way she's standing. And, like, the muscle sculpts on here are, are beautiful. Like, the way they're kind of just... Flexing, getting ready to toss this giant beam. Um, really, really nice sculpt. Uh, good, like kind of folds and like kind of wrinkles on on the uh, the unitard or what I don't know what you call that, but on the on the outfit. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, pretty pretty cool. Um, of course, we got our epic rock. As everybody in Crisis Protocol stands on an epic rock. Um, nobody can just put their feet on the ground. You've got to have a rock to stand on. I don't know at what point they decided everybody was going to have a rock, but everybody stands on something. Nobody just stands anymore. So, uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's about it. And uh, we'll have to get this thing painted up one of these days and hopefully, you know, um, get some more Crisis Protocol play and looking to play this a little bit more. Um, because, hey, man, there's more. I mean, we got Cable coming out soon. I'm really excited about Cable. Let me know down in the comments who you are most excited about for this game. Uh, because there's a lot of really great characters coming, but Cable's one I'm really looking forward to, and I hope they do Bishop as well at some point. I want to see Bishop show up, because that's my, that's my, I want to team up Cable and Bishop. All right, guys, that's all I've got. I want to thank you all so much. Uh, make sure you like the video. Go ahead and share the video. Uh, check out the links down in the description. I'm going to have, if you're on mobile, it'll be under over here. Uh, if you're on desktop or something like that, it'll be over here. Uh, and there's gonna be links to my website, to my Discord. You can hop in Discord, talk, uh, share your paintings, share your pictures, uh, join the community in there. I wanna thank you guys so much, and as always, have a great day.